Today we're in stormy Tofino just trying to stay sane and fixing everything that broke last time. So this is the current situation. We've been invited to a tour of a super budget-friendly van that's perfect for solo adventurers. And was six grand, I think. Oh, wow. Whoa! So We're Chico and Moritz, and we converted this box truck into a tiny home on wheels to get outside and explore. Subscribe to come along on our journey. Hey everyone, just wanted to give you a quick update that we are alive. We made it out of BC before the great floods happened and yeah, we are currently editing the video so if you see this tomorrow, which is today, we will have recorded this yesterday. Yeah. Yes, it will be. <laughs> You'll be seeing us from yesterday if you watch it tomorrow when we release this video. But anyway, we um, our, our hearts are going out to everybody who is in British Columbia. For those of you who aren't aware, British Columbia in Canada had some crazy floods. We're thankful that we got out of there just, just in, time. in time. We didn't know that this was going to happen. No, so. nobody knew. <laughs> yeah, exactly. But on a lighter note, let me show you our view right now. We are on the coast of Oregon by the ocean. And this is a spot that we've been editing our video at all day. And speaking of video, uh, I think we should get back to the video. Welcome to Rainy Tofino. <laughs> oh, last episode you saw us in the freezing cold. Um, Hubert was also parked in the cold. So the outlet fitting of our water tank burst must have iced over and all the water leaked out. Um, now we are here without water. So I got some new fittings. I have to put them under the box real quick. And then we should be back in business. We knew something was gonna break in negative 10 degree weather. As you know, our camper van is not winterized, so we cannot survive below zero. In fact, we did not only lose our fitting, we yeah, also, we also have a loss. We also lost Marge. <laughs> <laughs> our plant. Our spider plants. Apparently frosted spider plants can come back to life. So I'm just letting it chill out in the warm-ish camper van box now and Moritz will go and fix the other box downstairs <laughs> in the rain. to get onto it. Let's hope that lasts longer. And while we're at it, we have a new filter for the car. Throw that in real quick too. not broken but maybe it's still leaked due to the cold maybe like the teflon or whatever oh.
super cold, but it looks like the water is holding. So that was a success. Yay, we have water again. Beaches of Tofino certainly do not disappoint. It is so beautiful here. I can't even, wow. Now I know why people come here and then end up staying for like a third of their lifetime. If you are a surfer or love water sports, like this is definitely the place to be. It's incredible. I really like the vibe here. What about yeah. you? too bad we don't surf. <laughs> we'd stay. <laughs> I don't think we'd leave if we surfed. Today we have another van tour with Tristan's van. Hi Tristan! Hello, uh, I'm Tristan, I'm from Revelstoke, BC. And uh, yeah, this is the vehicle that I've been living in for almost two years now. This is a 2005 Ford E150. It's a 4.6 liter engine. I bought it and the roof was about here when I bought it. So I cut that roof off and got this top here at a junkyard just off of another van. It didn't actually fit at first and I had to do a lot of jerry-rigging to get it on. But two years later, no leaks and still secure, hasn't flown off on the highway, so <laughs> I think we're doing pretty good. I got a really good deal on it and uh, I guess that's the main reason maybe why I chose this van is because the price was so good for the kilometers. I was looking for something a bit bigger, but uh, I bought this and made it work. 97,000 kilometers. How much was the van itself at the first? The van was six grand, I think. Oh, Whoa! That's super cheap, yeah. That is real cheap. <laughs> yeah, um, six grand and then probably put another, at this point, probably another 10 realistically into the van. I'm a wildland firefighter in the summers and I spent the whole summer on my days off building it, which um, it was very few days off. Um, it was during a busy season in Alberta. Uh, but I think I probably put maybe a month worth of days into building it. What inspired me to start van life? I'm a cheap bastard. <laughs> <laughs> Us too, we got German and Asian. <laughs> I was still in school when I, when I built this out, so I was looking for a cheap place to live, putting all of my money into outdoor equipment. Uh, to go adventuring around. I can't really say that I've saved any money uh, living in the van because I just put it all into gear, <laughs> which depreciates. <laughs> but um, but it's been a great lifestyle. Electrical stuff, that was like the most stressful part of this whole thing. I had like zero knowledge at all on electrical components and, and how to do anything. Or I didn't even know really how electricity works. So it's been a lot of time uh, researching while I was on the, the wildfires in that summer when I was building it. And I haven't burnt the van down. I think I did everything right. Um, but I have two solar panels on the roof, 100 watts each. Um, the original battery I had in here was a 100 amp hours uh, AGM, not a lithium one. Uh, I got for a good deal. That has since crapped the bed. So. Maybe I did something wrong after all. Um, or maybe it was just an old battery or something. Um, so I have a new one in here, which I think is only um, 60 or 80 amps, and that's working, but I definitely need a bigger battery. These are all lights. Uh, this is for my diesel heater. Just a Chinese one off Amazon. That's a just battery monitor, which and only half works now. And uh, this cord here goes down to a charger that I can access um, to just plug into power and charge the battery whenever I want. What kind of fridge do you have? I think it is the Dometic 
about CFX. There you go. <laughs> CFX 75. It's super big. I need one half the size, but it got a really good deal. It pulls all the way out to where Moritz is um, on a slide. That's a massive fridge. This is this is half of it. So there's another one that's this same size, which I, I don't really even use. Um, I, I just can't eat that much food. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, the kitchen, a massive kitchen, huge. <laughs> <laughs> it definitely gets the job done, but it's pretty tight. Um, this here is a jet boil Genesis stove, I think is what they call it. Uh, it's been amazing. It's got a really, really good simmer. Um, I knew I was gonna live in the van full time, so uh, I, I, I balled out on the stove. And uh, a little light there as well, but I got my spice rack. My friend made a joke uh, the other day about van dwellers. All the things that they're willing to sacrifice and like all the things they don't have in their van that everyone else would want in daily life and then they just have a huge spice rack in like every <laughs> spice in the world and I'm like yeah that's pretty yep. true <laughs> and this is my tea addiction up here this whole side is all tea um, I'm not a coffee guy so I allow myself to fill this all with tea and I'm okay with it classic van dweller 20 liter uh, jug that gets pumped out with the foot pedal there up into the sink into the, the gray water on this side. Yeah, pretty simple setup. That's pretty common. The fan is a fantastic, I think is the brand. I don't remember what model it is, but it's just very, very basic. Uh, just goes one way, it just pulls air into the van. Uh, Morris can fix that, can change that for you. <laughs> yeah, I've heard that you can wire them so that they go the other way, which makes uh. a lot more sense. Um, and then on top, I have a plastic cover. It's a bit bulky, but I never have any condensation issues because the vent's like always open. There's always exchange of, of air. Uh, I do plan on living in a vehicle or a tiny home of some sort for a while. Um, so just being here in this thing for two years, it really works uh, for for what I need it, but we all start wanting a bit more luxury per se, and for some reason I just cannot bring myself to rent a room. <laughs> so I'll do anything I can to not rent a room. And you know, like a girlfriend would be nice. It's hard to, <laughs> hard to convince uh, someone to partner up with me and come in my little van on these road trips, you know, maybe the right person, but. You started this like during university while you're studying, built it out, what kind of advice would you give someone who's in your shoes? Mm -hmm. uh, maybe I'd tell them that it's gonna be a pain in the ass to build, <laughs> honestly. <laughs> um, depending on what you get, it can be like super difficult to build, but you'll learn so much on the way and they're all skills that translate directly into the rest of your life and you're gonna have a great time um, after it's all done <laughs> keep pushing through it there's like there's few vehicles that have straight edges you guys have your box truck you can go to ikea which is like <laughs> a huge win and get some square pieces like there's not a straight edge on this thing like every piece of wood had to be like custom and just tons of trial and error but yeah if, if you're really looking to have some kind of van, whether it's just for the weekend or for living in, it, yeah, it might be a struggle to build, but if you can get through that, then you got a lot of good stuff coming. Overall, just like really proud of being able to put it all together. Um, I've always been a bit like handy and working with my dad on stuff. I was building sketchy bike jumps in the backyard as a kid. <laughs> but doing something like this was like definitely the next the next step up from that obviously so pretty proud of just putting it together. Life is beautiful. This is the uh, the main storage space. Right now we're uh, climbing stuff and camping stuff in here and all my mountain biking stuff in here. Like I said, it can only fit one season worth. So this is more storage, but uh, mostly built it for skis in the winter. So the skis can slide all the way into the main 
um, body of the of the van there, oh, which so occupy a little bit of the kitchen space. Uh, but I can fit three pairs of skis there, one pair of skis up uh, up there, and then all my roadside assistance stuff. I got spare rain boots, bike locks, and electrical stuff. All just goes in there. Hopefully, and I don't have to use it. I was able to live full time in it for a winter in Revy um, without access to a house at, at all. Um, and for such a small space and this place like Rail where it snows a lot, that was like it's pretty sweet to see that the van could help, could hold up because that's what I built it for. Um, but now I've, I've appreciated like parking it at a house and paying them a little bit of rent. It just it works out so much better when I'm in one place for a long time. Well, thank you so much for sharing your story with us. It was very thought provoking and insightful and I'm glad we got a chance to know you a little bit more because we've run into Tristan twice now. <laughs> we just, we pulled into, we're at- Three um, times. Yeah, three it's times. Oh, three times. I haven't yeah. met you yet. <laughs> yeah, we ran into each other on the ferry first um, and then he noticed our van but didn't say anything. And then we ended up on Tin Hat Mountain, which you've already seen at the same time. And then today, now we're at, uh, where are we? Nymph Nymph Falls. Falls. Oh. We're at Nymph Falls. And then lo and behold, we're like, whose van is that? It looks so familiar. <laughs> and then we crack open a window. It's like, hey. <laughs> so here we are. <laughs> so as we mentioned at the beginning of our video, some major flooding in BC. Tristan unfortunately had to drive south into the US and then around to get back home to Revelstoke and that was like a 14 hour trek for him <laughs> but he's also safe and sound and we're really happy to hear that um, but yeah yeah thanks so much for coming along today if you like the video leave us a thumbs up subscribe or, or don't because or don't, the dislike sure, button but, is being taken yeah. away <laughs> I don't know <laughs> it's weird right it is uh. watch other people talk about it <laughs> 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 All right. And okay. always, we'll see you on the road to pitches. Bye bye. <laughs> um. <laughs> no, it's your cue. I don't know what to say. Okay. And I don't remember what I was supposed to say.